ओके गाइज माइक्रोसॉफ्ट स्टोर इश्यू सो ऑल द इश्यू विथ योर माइक्रोसॉफ्ट स्टोर एंड स्टोर एप वर गोइंग टू फिक्स इन दिस ट्यूटोरियल द फर्स्ट थिंग दैट यू कैन ट्राई राइट क्लिक ऑन आई स्टार्ट आई कॉन एंड गो टू सेटिंग हेयर इज अपडेट एंड सेक्यूरिटी एंड चेक फॉर द अपडेट एंड इंस्टॉल इट so checking for the update and installing it will fix lots of issue the second thing that you going to try go to troubleshoot in same update and security you going to look somewhere in this page if you do not find here is additional troubleshooter you can see all these different apps fix okay guys find and fix other problem Here is Windows Store app. Click on it. Click on Run Troubleshooter. It's gonna take some time, and it's gonna find and fix your issue. Okay, guys. Now you're gonna try if problem is solved. Otherwise, just uh, open your account setting, sign in with your Microsoft account. That will give access to your apps and games from the Windows Store, and it's gonna fix more. Or click on Next. it can ask you to restart your pc so click on next and it will initialize the diagnostic and everything and i hope uh, problem is fixed sometime you're going to see the message like this microsoft account required so go to the account setting and sign in with your microsoft account if it is not signed in if the problem is still exist and try again so the minor issue will be fixed while running the troubleshooter if some of the store app issue you have to sign in with a microsoft account first the next method again go to settings and then you're going to choose apps now here you have apps and features select that scroll down and you're going to find uh, microsoft store click on that here you have a advanced option and it is going to come down the first thing you going to try is just terminate the app and restart your pc uh see if your microsoft store is working fine again come back now this time you going to try reset your app so click on reset and then click on reset it will delete all the apps data and preferences and sign in details also so you have to sign in with your uh, microsoft account again if you have signed in your store with account and restart your pc after you reset and make sure uh, i hope uh, the problem is solved the another way is on installing the app so here you don't have a option to on install so let me show you how do you you know, on install the default app so on installing and again you can install manually you have to download it from the internet so to uninstall windows store here is the command so you have to go through the power cell give a right click on start and then here you have it's a command prompt so you have to open the power cell so go to search so here it is you can search for the power cell on your uh, search uh, icon if you do not find in the start give a right click on it and run as administrator you can yes now you going to type the command as it is over here so this is the command so before you run this command and uninstall windows store app be careful do it at last and do it at your own risk because sometime it might cause issue and you might not be able to install the app from internet and sometime you may have to reinstall windows 10 in order to get this app back again into your pc so do it at your own risk and do it at last it's a last option you can do for uninstalling and trying to install again from outside somewhere from the internet so do it at last and do it at your own risk so this command will help you remove windows store app so it works on powershell administrator sometime uh it might uh, not work in some pc i hope uh, it work for a lots of pc if you really want to uninstall 
Microsoft to into the store app. So the next thing is you can try. So here's the command. Just press Windows and R key. This will open run. You just have to uh, type this command over here. And then hit a click on OK. So this will reset your uh, Windows Store. So it's gonna take some time. You can say running the command. So it's done. The next thing is the time and date. So you just have to go to settings and then you're gonna choose time and reason. So somewhere it's a time and reason. So something that you need to do over here it's a set time automatically and set time zone automatically just turn on both or what you can do just turn on this one it's a set time automatically turn on let it be off and then go to reason and set it to United States and then try a problem is solved sometime antivirus cause the issue if you are using any kinds of antivirus into your PC just try to uninstall the antivirus and check uh, if your problem is solved. Sometime creating another user account uh, might help you guys. So open the settings and go to accounts and here it is. Uh, in accounts, uh, so you have to create another account. So you can see it's account info. Now here you have a uh, family and other user. Click on that. So sign in with your Microsoft account if it is signed in with your local account. Sign in with your Microsoft account and see if it is working fine. Sometime if it is already signed in with a Microsoft account, click on add someone else to this PC. And you can use uh, another Microsoft account if you have. Otherwise, you're going to click over here at the bottom. And then here, you can just uh, sign in with your you can use a phone number also to sign up uh, otherwise you can just uh, click on over here and you can sign in with another local account you can give administrator permission uh, to that particular account and then check if it is working fine so once you have created account it's very simple and easy to give administrator permission let's say I've created account click on change account type and then here you have option if it is a standard user choose administrator and click on OK you can give administrator permission to the account and see try to sign in your PC with another account and see if your store is working fine. So the next is you reinstall the Microsoft uh, Store app. So here's the command I've left in the video description. You can type it or copy from the video description and paste it in a PowerShell. So run as the PowerShell, open the PowerShell as an administrator and paste the command and press enter key. So the next is you can just re-register your Microsoft Store. So it's the command that you're gonna type in order to re-register your Microsoft Store. So I've left a command in the video description. Just uh, copy the command or you can just type the command and you're gonna paste it over here in the PowerShell. So you have to run the PowerShell as an administrator. So it's the PowerShell, just run as administrator and then you're gonna paste this command over here and hit enter key and then it will re-register your Microsoft Store so to re-register if you're using a Windows 8 so you can use this command if you're using Windows 8 so I've left all the details about the command in the video description you can check it out over there so some of these commands uh, might not uh, work in some of your PC so you just restart your PC and try it once again so all these uh, steps you can try in order to fix your store and store app issue sometimes store apps won't install so try to do this and try to install the app, ag app again sometimes just try to uh, close the store and try to reinstall the app once again so all these steps will help you fix uh, your store issue and all the apps that you are not being able to install in your store. And following this tutorial, if it is helpful, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe and comment. I'll catch you in the next tutorial with another great stuff. Have a good day.